Alrighty, so uh, we got our pre-ordered HoloLens 2 in the mail today. This is the box it came in, pretty excited. Um, we're gonna be using this for our VDC, our virtual design construction. Um, most specifically here at the new ICU remodel that we're doing. We have all our prefab there. We're gonna go take a look at how um, it uh, gets uploaded into this. So we've had some experience with the HoloLens 1. Um, from what I've read online with some of the reviews, the newer model is a little bit uh, lighter um, and has a lot more battery life and processing power. So there's the box. All right, it looks like it comes with a protective case, carrying case with a handle. It's made out of um, some nice leather and some um, kind of sturdy cloth on front. Looks like it's a pretty well built case. Um, opens up, and there it is in all its beauty. Um, one thing that I read online is that it has the tilt function, so as you're wearing it, you can tip it up. Um, this was, I think, one of the changes because I had some safety issues with the first one with tripping over things, so now if you're not using it, you can tip it up, make it a little bit safer. Um, so we got the unit itself there. Let's see what's in the actual box here. So it looks like this packaging is uh, kind of permanent here. It looks like this will remain in the box for storage to keep everything organized. We have our HoloLens booklet uh, with some instructions that can remain in the box as well. So it looks like we have a charger for the device here. Charger. USB cable. So yeah, there's a firmware update to install out of the box. Um, it has a nice adjustable hat, similar to a lot of the, or adjustable uh, knob, similar to a lot of the hard hats. So throw it on. It does have a um, retina scanner, which I think is new to the HoloLens too, uh, which each person has a different shape of their eyes. So when you scan it, um, it can really get a really smooth virtual experience for you. Um, and that can update with each person. And here's that, uh, the lift up that I was demonstrating earlier. If you're not using it, it's a little bit safer walking around the job site. So um, we'll get it charged up. And when we get it charged and firmware updated, we'll upload some models to it and show you guys what it looks like um, in real life. Thanks for watching.